guys, what is up? That's Texan here. Welcome to another car review. And this time I'm in a 1997 Volkswagen Jetta or Vento as it was called in Europe. Railroad tracks. We always love these. Yeah, yeah. Suspension, of course, this car is lowered with springs and uh, they're static. It's not air. So definitely a little bit on the harsh side there. And this is like the prime location. You got a red light over here. You got a Honda S2000 next to us. Actually, I wish. It's an F-150. <laughs> Power! <laughs> you know, this just brings me back so much. Back in Europe, very high horsepower cars, especially back in 2001, definitely not attainable for young kids. These cars though, however, were older, people could get them and they would definitely get all the modifications on it. Definitely on the outside and the exhaust, power-wise, not so much. There were a few fast cars out there, but the majority really didn't even break 200 horsepower. Spongy brakes again, but let's see what the handling does. And here's you turn. Second gear. Keep my lane. each other in these type of cars so not fast at all but a whole lot of fun and especially when I was filming it now that footage I have no clue where it is I hope we can find it and make a video of that some other time but it just brings me back this is just such a cool car also the exterior body style the quad headlights definitely give it that fast and furious look and the first time that I saw the owner I actually said hey man cars the wrong color where are your decals at because of the Fast and Furious look. Jesse's Jetta, man. Quad headlights, awesome. Now the body kit is definitely 100% original. It uses the original bumpers on it, and then it has a metal skirt on it that has been smoothed over with body filler, and there's nothing else out there like it. There's, you can't buy this, and that is why it makes it so unique. Now, again, very, very 90s tuning. I saw it all over the place in Europe, and it just brings me back so, so much. This is just a car that I don't care about how fast it goes. I care about how it makes me feel. And this brings me back so much that I just can't help but like it. So I just talked about the exterior styling, the interior styling, definitely 100% 90s. You gotta look at those silver clocks and this is awesome. Now these seats, they're pretty good, these NRG seats. Definitely has a ton of side support. Now the wheels on the car are Momo wheels, they're 17 inch and they're clad in low profile tires. And that pretty much explains the ride as well because it gets kind of jarring, but that's what you get. Static springs, all that good stuff. Slow poking front. Oh, he's actually moving. The guy actually got on it a little bit. I'm so happy that we overtook him. Because I saw it, I'm like, no, no. Okay, good, instead of VTEC. Yes, we win. If that was a Honda S2000 though, we would have been completely and utterly destroyed. That's one of the things that I kind of dislike about the Fast and Furious, because even when I saw it for the first time, I was like, dude, Honda S2000 stock, what, 240 horsepower? This car, same engine as Jesse's Jetta, two liter, eight valve, naturally aspirated, 120? Stock for stock, is no contest. It's not even gonna happen. To talk about the engine just a little bit more, this one is not completely stock. It has a set of headers on it. Of course, it has a noise speed exhaust front to back, and it also has a mild cam. So it makes a little bit more horsepower than stock. Seat of the pants feels, put this about 140 wheel horsepower, maybe 170, 180 at the block. Not a ton of power, definitely not, but it's just enough to move the car. And we got three people in the car, it's me, the owner and his son so we're definitely weighted down and when it comes down to these cars with limited power more weight has an exponential effect on acceleration for sure and the 
those rattles, man. That's all old, old car stuff. You know, if you get that stuff in a new car, you're definitely 100% pissed off. But if you get it in an old car, it's part of the character. And that is why I like this car so much. It brings me back to when I was filming those street races back in Holland. And it brings me back to that time where the exterior of a car was everything everything to those guys they, they didn't really care too much about the power you know they put an exhaust on it put an intake on it but it really didn't do much it was the exterior that was everything another thing that this car is is a daily driver for the owner so show car yes and no perfect paint no but that's because it's a daily driver guys you can't have perfect paint and a daily driver that's impossible then it has to be garaged and not driven at all unless the car shows and even then cars end up getting rock chips and stuff like that you cannot keep a car perfect forever and that's what i love about this one it's driven on the road everyone gets to see it not everyone might agree with it but for me it brings back so many great memories and if you like the fast and furious you cannot help but like this car too unless you know you're more of a muscle kind of guy but i'm a muscle kind of guy and i like this car so hey I don't judge, and neither should you. Just a little bit of extra power, you know, just get that, thing, that exhaust. That exhaust is actually kind of quiet. I'm surprised. I was thinking that this exhaust would be a loud as all heck the DTM tips and everything, but it's it's very subdued. You're not gonna wake the neighbors or annoy anyone with it, but it does open up nicely when you get on it, and that's the sign of a proper exhaust right there. So as a final conclusion on this car, I like it, I like it a lot. And I'm gonna tell you guys something that you probably don't expect, and that is that I've looked at MK3 Jettas. I'm a muscle kind of guy, 100%, but I entertained the thought of getting an MK3 Jetta with the VR6, get the body kit on it from the fast and furious not the wheels because they're way too big that is just not a big fan of that it will ruin the ride and just roll with it you know black look awesome and maybe you know one day put the turbocharger kit on it and go pester mustangs because it would be sick and fast as hell and actually if you look some videos up on youtube they sound pretty darn awesome as well i think supra awesome I hope you liked this review. I had a blast driving this car around. It brought back so many great, great feelings. Take care, and I'll see you on the flip side. Easy. On the easy. <laughs> oh, man, it's so funny. You know, I got yeah, my Peugeot had no AC in Holland yeah, back in the day. And I would be the same way. <laughs> oh, you want to go? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I'm in fourth. I was definitely in fourth. All these people are like, you're driving that car, why are you not driving it fast like a typical guy would in a car like this? <laughs> Cop up there. That is not what I want. Fellow German that got pulled over there. Now we're gonna get in the street race over here. Where are we gonna witness someone run the red? He's already in the middle of the intersection, why not? <laughs> we won. <laughs> Originally in Europe, I actually made street racing videos. I didn't personally street race much. So on that note, Alex, thank you so much for letting me drive your awesome Jetta Vento GT. 